Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And your boy, Stanley. All right, listen. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and hit this real quick because Mike Mike. <laughs> no, Mike, Mike Michael ain't right tonight. He coming through <laughs> here with a whole bunch of rain and stuff, but I think we're going to be okay, y'all. So yeah. just go ahead and send a little prayer. Not the big prayer, just a little prayer for us over here. Yeah. I got my army fatigues on because I'm a soldier. In the what? In the army of the Lord. <laughs> because we at church over here at Calvary Hill. We don't call him Lord. It's Lord. It's Lord. Lord. You know black people. L-A-W-D. Yes, Lord. Lord. And if you want to be proper with it, it's Lord. Uh-huh. <laughs> Lord Jesus. So, okay, if you're not a family member, which means you did not come up to the front when they asked, do anybody wish to get um, join this church? Y'all need to come on over here to Calvary. Yeah. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We'll make sure you get your new member packet. It consists of a cup of coffee or like our, like our pastor said, or if coffee's not your thing, we'll throw in a, a bottle of water for you there and you a t-shirt. Go. go ahead and rate the video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. doesn't even matter. You've already been freaking counted at yes, this point. Yes, indeed. Okay. The title of it was, That Was Then. And I just think it should just be the same title that Empire was last night. Yeah. Pride. Pride. Cause that's and that's all I saw. What happened. Okay, let's go ahead and hit some, some key points. Gloria, who is Maxine... What the hell is Maxine's last name? Maxine Pash. Pash. I was going to call her Maxine Waters. I probably have <laughs> called her Maxine Waters. <laughs> Her secretary is over there getting on Corinne's everlasting nerve. <laughs> and in turn, Corinne is getting on Lady May's everlasting word, uh -huh. nerve. Because y'all know how it goes. They respect the first lady and they do what the first lady asked them to do. But with the permission and the, the stamp of approval of uh, the, the bishop. bishop. That's right. Nothing so, happens unless he said it's okay. So Lady May got this thing going on where she wants to do this. And because Maxine is going to be the speaker of the alpha, they want to go ahead and change the venue and have it over there at Calvary. But Bishop got another event on the table that he wants to have at Calvary. Corinne was like, you know, we not going to be able to have that. Because Bishop already has that slated for the silver something. The silver jubilee. I said, if that ain't an old guy doing title. Uh-huh. <laughs> and Lady May was like, oh, so do you want me to get the approval from Bishop or no? Or do you want to go ahead and take your authoritative position <laughs> and go ahead and do it yourself? And Corinne was like, I got you, Lady May. I'll go over there and I'll talk to him. I said, ain't nobody going to talk to the bishop about this. He going to have to find out about this. And that's what had happened. Exactly what happened. So, over at the house, it's Zora's 18th birthday. Kids came over. The parents came. Well, not the kids. The brother came over with the mom and daddy because they want to get their skit over and done with early because Zora is still on punishment even on her birthday. It's like, God, don't. Lady May is on one, y'all. Clarissa gave her two tickets to Hamilton for her birthday. Because you know Zora is into that kind of stuff. She's the yeah. weed explorer, but she you know she got a little culture for them. <laughs> and um, Lady May said, you know, that's very unfortunate that it's going to be happening tomorrow. Because she's still on punishment. She has a curfew. So um, you, she ain't going to be able to do that. Clarissa was like, hold on. Wait a minute. But it's um, her birthday. I'm the mama. I bought the tickets. It's my decision on where she can go and where she can't go. That's what Clarissa wanted to say. Somebody, I think it was um, Life of Portrait or either um, Miss Honey. Probably both of them have said this. Where did this weak, submissive Clarissa come from? Yeah. Clarissa was the one who always was barking orders, making Jacob be the head honcho. Well, maybe that's what happens when they become the head honcho. Then you can settle your high part down. Yeah, you can back off and let... Yeah, let but where did this Clarissa come from? Where everything wasn't, it wasn't a fight. Are you going to talk to your mother about this? Oh, well, I think my mom is right. And Jacob Beck pretty much said, you know what? At the end of the day, we couldn't do skit with our daughter. She over here with my mama. My mama knows best. She good. <laughs> Clarissa said, listen, <laughs> I'm going over there and I'm going to talk to your mama. Because if your mama knew what she was doing, it wouldn't take me 20, 20 years. years to make you fly right. I was like, God, don't. Boy, that smacked him so God, that smacked me. And it won't even me. I said, Clarissa, you ain't had to talk to him heavy like that. Yes, yeah, she did. Yes, yeah, she did, because Jacob don't like to listen. He don't like to listen. And best of now, he the pastor over Trump. Now you can't tell him skin. Well, I'm going to tell you who did tell him something. Huh. 
That goddamn Keisha Cole skank don't took an opportunity to cheat on T.I. and go over there and mess with Jacob. She goes over there and she's like, oh, I, I know when something's wrong with you. Come on in. Talk to me. Tell me about your problems. Lay your head in my bosom and then make everything all right. Jacob gets to tell her about, you know, well, he really didn't do no talking. She basically brought up a scenario and this, yeah. that, and the third. And next thing you know, she leaned in. And I said, boy, she old school to her heart. She got the designs on her nails, <laughs> the French tip, that gaudy piece of jewelry. I said, mm, Keisha Kosuke, what you're not going to do is break up a happy home the same way you broke up T.I. and Titus home. Yeah. I'm playing, but I'm not playing. See, Jacob just got delivered from the from the other light-skinned chick at Tron. She that, wasn't light-skinned. She was white. Well, no, that was Calvary. Yeah, that was Calvary. It was a light-skinned chick at Tron. Yeah. yeah. Can you remember he was, because remember Cl Clarissa was, was getting ready to leave him over that chick. I don't you don't remember, remember that? No, I watch. No. Yeah, All these shows run together. It's the love boat. But he just got so delivered good. yesterday. Here you come. So now, Jacob, he's so convicted, y'all, that <laughs> now he's going to side with Clarissa and to bring in Zora to weed explore home. That was all just a guilty conscience. That's oh yeah, did. oh yeah. So he told, go, got home and told Clarissa, we're going to go ahead and bring Zora home. You were right. You her mama, I'm her daddy, and I think we'll do okay with her at the house. I said, so y'all think. Well, come find out. Lady May was going to come up in Zora's room and ask Zora to go over there and take over the little safe because um Sophia said she done with this skit. Yeah. Delete she... all that skit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want nothing to do with the little I, safe or the big safe I or the big God. I ain't singing. I ain't ushering. I ain't, I ain't get on the trustee boy. It's anything that got to do with the Lord, just count me out. Delete all that <laughs> all, skit. Delete all of it. <laughs> So Zora was like, mm -hmm. no, I'll go ahead and pass on that. I'm not going to do nothing with the little saints. She know good time, where she won't going to do that, man. Why are you? When, when did Zora get qualified to handle the little saints? How was she going to teach them? Yeah. At this point <laughs> in her life, trying to judge her. But you got to be doing but something. See, but see, look, you know how that how that all works at the church, Oh, right? yeah. You put see, when you're in a desperate separate situation, you got to choose the next best candidate. It makes no difference if they live it right or not. They got to fulfill the position to make the church look good, man. That's what you got to do. That's why the praise team is the worst hell is out there. Yeah, that's where a lot of people hide at in the praise team. <laughs> <laughs> and in the band. <laughs> it's a good hiding spot, man. Hello. I need to learn how to play me an instrument so I can make me that two, three hundred dollars a Sunday. I that's told right. you, you need to put your head, your home, your... Nah, we in them No, I take that out. back. And being an usher is a good place to hide, too. Yeah. And, and the trustee. Mmm... So, the trustee is a little bit more tricky. But you still can hide, though. You can still hide. Because you're not screaming. You're not screaming like a minister is. Man. You're not screaming like a minister is, but your money got to be in order. And usually people that don't have their money in order, their life ain't in order. But you know, most times people, when they up there with the money, they're going to make sure their money is right so they can call the shots. So they can talk about you. Yeah, so they can call the shots and talk about you. Yep. I know. I know. But yeah, nobody else don't pay no tithes. They're going to pay some tithes and offer. So they can talk skit about you. Exactly. Not young. And not paying for that dough knob that we don't pay for 15 times <laughs> over there. Not on that goddamn building yet. So, Lady May was like, oh, I'm Zora, you going to have a hard time? You having a hard time figuring out what kind of outfit you want to wear? She was like, mm, something like that. Mm -hmm. And she was like, you know what? Mm, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be leaving because I'm 18. In 10 minutes. And she <laughs> said, what? Three, two, one, I'm out of here. I said, oh. And yeah, she was right. She, and she told that's, you. that's what Clarissa was trying to prevent because she knew once Joe returned 18, she oh. ain't dumb. The weed made her smart. <laughs> <laughs> so she was just holding out just for a little while longer until her chains came to turn 18. And now she's going in the arms of Isaiah. God darn. She couldn't wait. So. Talking about this day ago, cryptocurrency, right? Oh, Lord. Coochie Cross got that goddamn bishop's nose open so goddamn wide. He can't see the forest for the trees. Nope. He gonna approach Lady May and was like, I'm gonna need to dip into the um the joint account with your permission because I need to go ahead and um put that money over there and in two weeks you gonna be good. That's what yeah, you want, it's, right? It's gonna be fat and that account is gonna be fat to it. And he said, I've already invested most of my personal funds into um, the cryptocurrency. So it's going to be all to the good. And I trust her. 
Lady makes her listen. The Bible says, what did, what did it say? Because I don't forgot the scripture that she came by. Basically, yeah, basically you uh, rather for you to be a, a, a wise uh, young person than, than an old, old fool. Than an old fool. <clears throat> well, she told him no. But guess what he went on and did? He <laughs> pulled the money out and got it on way. Which I knew he was going to do. And I said, Bishop, 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 did you really just pull that woman's money out? Because what had happened was Corinne and what's her name? Gloria needed some money to put a deposit down on a caterer and they needed the money right away. She said, I'll go ahead and I'm gonna check that account real quick. Yeah, I got you. Transfer the money out of my personal savings and I, you know, and I'll get the church to reimburse me. We know all about that. Let the church put in an invoice, a requisition and get reimbursed. She ain't got no money. Look, her husband don't took the guy doing math. But but see, she got to forget that she she just took some money that was unauthorized too, you mama. What she took? She booked that trip to go see Maxine Patterson on the church's money. And she got, uh, what you call it, to book all that stuff for. But she, she never asked the bishop for all that. But he don't care, they don't care nothing about that because that's the church's money. That's our money. That's our but, time off money. But what I'm... But, what but I'm, the personal money is what they need permission but, but from she, each other but to But what I'm getting at is, she didn't get that clear. She just took it. Just like he did. Like a thief in the night. He just took it. Because huh. you said that was the, our money. So I just take it. Sounds, that what he did. Sound about right to me. Two wrongs don't make a right though. But tonight... <laughs> So when she went over there and she confronted him about it, she said, um, I'm going to go ahead and need you up out of this house tonight. He said, I've already made arrangements to go see Percy and be over Percy's house tomorrow. She said, no, no, no. Tonight. tonight you leaving this house tonight. I said, what God doing? Bishop showed up over there and Percy's over at that funeral home. I said, Lord, if he don't. Oh, Percy got a nice house though. What don't most funeral directors do? No. Not the ones that I know. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Roll camera. So, what had happened earlier in the episode, Percy had called over there to Charity. At first, I was trying to figure out, was this a way to break Charity out of whatever she going through? It's nah. a whole lot of scare going on with Charity. But she still hung up in that goddamn room. And even at one time, her daddy was like, when you going to leave this room? She said, when you going to leave this house? It's like, what? <laughs> What? And Bishop was like, hold on. And she was like, no, it's, it really ain't like that. Basically, I'm going to miss you. They're going to miss each other. They got mm -hmm. to cry. I had a moment. Percy called her and said, listen, I ain't got no music over here. Yeah, all I got is some organ music. And Spotify. <laughs> I said, you couldn't say Pandora. You couldn't say Alexa. <laughs> or Google Play or something. Spotify. Spotify. So, uh, she, at first she said, she won't go come over there and sing a few songs for him. Well, she was drunk as hell. Mm -hmm. She was Hold over up. there drinking that goddamn wine, still in that sweater that y'all be laughing about. <laughs> Laid up there watching old, look like westerns. I guess it was westerns. Something in black and white. So she got her skit together. And I said, you know what? Ain't that funny how people can stand up before you and use the gifts that the Lord gave you and you don't discern skit yeah. that's going on with them. So they never even known it. She was drunk five minutes ago. Which means she was still drunk at the funeral. And ain't, and, and she yeah. sung y'all to the precious Lord take my mm -hmm. hand. And y'all boohooing. Yep. And y'all felt this presence of the Lord. And that girl over there going through hell. But y'all yep. ain't seen that because y'all don't receive the gift. And not the, <laughs> the, 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 the housing of the gift. Huh? But anyway. So Charity didn't leave right after. She had a conversation with Percy. And she told Percy, she said, right now I am so worn out and mm -hmm. I am so drained. I don't know how you do it. And I said, I don't know Percy saying what he said to her is a good or bad thing. He said, I, I drink. Because <laughs> he said, and this is, a, this is true for pastors and, and people in leadership too. All you around are people that are in their worst mm -hmm. moments. Yep. And you come in their presence and you absorb all, all of it. that. And he said, the way I get through it is I have to drink. And I'm like, God, don't. That's how I don't know how people just can, can go to funeral to funeral. They go to people's funerals that they don't even know. They don't even know the people. And they go. <laughs> I was like, I don't even want to go to the people that I do know. Matter of fact, I don't even want to go to my own funeral. And I ain't going to do nothing about it. 
Cause it takes it takes a lot out you, man. Yeah, man. It takes a lot out you. And then first of all, you gotta make sure your outfit is right because for black people, it's all about appearances and how you gonna look. Because it is the black family reunion. Yep. To be honest, it's the class reunion, it's the family reunion, it's the community reunion. Yep. And then you gonna have to introduce yourself. I think when you go to black funerals, you should be able to put a hello, my name is. That's what they need to do. Shirt. Because I be so tired. And put and put on here what side of the family you from. Okay, that's what I'm gonna ask you. What's your name, baby? Uh -huh. And then they my be name is Stanley. Who saw the family you out? <laughs> How you know the deceased? You should, we should start saying, oh, I used to sleep with him. <laughs> that would get a rise out of somebody. I'll be like, oh, 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 okay. My bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just came to show my respects to his family. And the food better be on point. I'm Even trying. though it's free, <laughs> you gonna demand about... that the food better be on point. And if a woman, that don't have lunch lady arms like me and swollen ankles, don't fix that potato salad and that guy doing sweet potato pie and the macaroni and cheese and the greens. Huh? I'm not eating it. They gonna talk about you like a dog. Cause if know. your arms don't look I, like this, you don't know nothing about seasoning. They get around to the church and light their cigarette. I don't know what the hell had to make did to that guy doing macaroni and cheese. That skit was, was dry. dry. They put a whole bunch of cheese on the top. Uh -huh. It looked like, good, what? but that skit was nasty and noodles you, was overcooked. And you know what? They should have let me cook it. But nah, they ain't want me but, to cook but it. But nah, but when they was asking everybody to, to do donations, you was like, I ain't got the money for all that. I'm gonna bring Big K and check sodas. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and, a, and, a, and a sheet cake. The sheet cake, yep. <laughs> Cause they famous for wanting to buy that sheet cake. <laughs> or, they'll go, or they'll go down to Walmart and buy that cake that they gave Zora. <laughs> that was a Walmart cake. <laughs> no, that was a box cake. If I ain't never seen one. Uh, back out the rabbit got dog. Yeah, blah, 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 so, back. Gigi goes down there to the jail, right? First of all, this took me by freaking surprise right here. Because I thought the late, I don't know, maybe it's just because this is really a predominantly black show. I ain't know the lady that they were trying to help. They, they killed the husband with the hammer. I didn't know she was white. <laughs> Until they started showing pictures of him in that bed. And, you know, um, Gigi was looking at the pictures and actually having flashbacks. And she saw the liquor bottle all broke up. She had a flashback. And I said, oh, Lord, don't don't, don't go backwards. Don't yeah, go backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She went down there to the jail. And the DA that could have charged her for manslaughter was like, what you doing down here? Oh, homegirl goes to your church. Oh, no, we have a fund where we start trying to help people, um, you know, that are... Uh, that basically they innocent and in self-defense we're trying to help them out he said she ain't innocent yeah she killed that man with a hammer in his sleep yeah and he ain't got no proof that he ever abused her but this is the part where he said he said he basically threatened her yeah he did he said go ahead and step your foot in those waters if you want to and i'll pass on my i'll pass on my cases to other people that ain't basically that ain't as kind as i am and I said, so what you trying to do? Are you going to try to figure out a way to reopen Gigi's case if she step in and try to help this lady? That's what it sounds like you're saying, yeah. are you trying to use the, <clears throat> her against this lady? Mm -hmm. Either way, you threaten the heck out of Gigi and this lady at the same D-time. Like I told you, this could have been me. That lady rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah, she did. She made she, you hot. She rubbed me the wrong way because she coming in. Who are you? You from that church? I don't believe I don't God. believe in God. I don't believe, I don't believe in none of that stuff. Uh, come but on, I, I understand but, it though. But no, 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 no. Let, let me explain why it rubbed and me the wrong way. And then I'm gonna way. understand. I'm gonna explain to you why. Your, your tail is on the line to be fried. That's fine. You ought to be humble at this point in your life that somebody's even willing to come down there to even see your tail. So somebody chose to come that ain't even your family, nobody that you don't even know, and you gonna come at them strong like that, Kanye? <laughs> You could come at them strong like that. You ought to be like, hi, I'm so glad that you here to see me. Because when you got a murder charge, nobody don't want nothing to do with you. Hell, you don't have to have a murder charge for people don't want nothing to do with you. But that's what I'm saying. But if you really have a charge like that, nobody don't want nothing. So, yeah, she rubbed me the wrong way. Maybe I was in my feelings. But you I, in your I, feelings. I, I think I would have walked out and be like, you know what? Fuck you. Fuck you. Who's next? Now, I'm going to say it from my perspective. As the former, as I'm as I just say, the former CEO of, of, of the, um, God darn it, I lost my train of thought. I'm listening what? to the rain. 
God damn it. What the hell? As an atheist, because I used to be an atheist, y'all. As a former CEO of that. Okay. I understand how church people try to come in your life and make you believe in God. They roll up on you and they try to do something nice to you. They try to meet a need. Mm-hmm. Because it's a seed. <laughs> so they plant a seed in your life. Hoping that one day, like like she said, I don't believe in that God stuff. So if you came here to heal my soul and save my soul, I don't believe in it. So she already knew the games that church people play. They come at you in your lowest moment to go ahead and say, Hey, I put some money on your books, but you got to come to the church and serve the Lord. Because the Lord yeah. is good. So that that, that that's where she was coming from. I feel you. So I she feel. came out there with the guards up already. Because she knew that at some point, she going to have to join Calvary for that goddamn bail money. <laughs> and we know we know it's a system. It's a system. You're right. <laughs> it's You're right. right. It's You're just right. like when you go to a bank. You start off with your checking account. You're going to get a savings account. And then if you stay in there long enough, you get a CD. Yeah. Because ain't nothing free. <laughs> We're going to get your, we're going to start off with a piece of your life. By the time we finish with you, we're going to have your whole life. We're going to have your portfolio. Just like they did with, uh, what you call it, the the, past, the, uh, the people over the little saints. Won't even let Sophia go. No. And let her go. <laughs> nah, we ain't going to let that baby go. We're going to put no, her I'm, No, what I'm saying, not let her go in that sense. If she says she don't want to teach the little saints no more, leave her alone. You know, in order to leave a position at church, you got to lead the whole church. Yeah. <laughs> you can't leave a position at church. They won't let you. <laughs> it's a game. Once you jump in, you in. Yeah. Nothing but death can kick you out of there. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> Ask me how I know. So you got to go to heaven to get out. <laughs> or hell. <laughs> but you not leaving. You not going to sit in the views that. You're not gonna be in the pew. But 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 to come back to what you were talking about, you was, you are exactly right. That's usually how it's it's perceived. Yeah. But she still should have waited to see what Gigi had to freaking say before she came her sideways like that. I agree. I agree. Yeah. So she she had preconceived notions before she even had a chance to talk to her. You can't do that. You got a murder charge, man. They get ready to fry you, give you lethal injection see, in your life over something that you said you ain't did. But oh, she said she did it, and she glad she did it. No, she said well, it was, no. What well, she said was self defense. No, they said it's manslaughter. Oh, yeah, she did say it was self defense, but yeah. So, so yeah, you need to, yeah, like like Kendra Lamar said, be humble, little b. <laughs> <laughs> but she don't believe in the Lord, so she don't believe in heaven and hell. So if they fry, she don't care. Humble ain't got nothing to do with the Lord. Humble is being no, humble. I'm not talking about that. No, oh. we we going down a rabbit yeah. hole. We back out. We back out. <laughs> so we are gonna talk about Sophia. and We are gonna let y'all go on home. Um, we are gonna dismiss the service. We might yeah. have refreshments and that punch. You know that the ice never truly melts in the middle, and we just keep stirring it around to get more flavor. They got that down at the bottom and down in the basement <laughs> for y'all. All right, Sophia was over there. I'm not even going to talk about Gigi and Rick Fox. I'll talk about it another day because I know it's going to come back up because she almost told Rick Fox that yeah, she I'm like, hesitated. Don't you, yeah, don't you tell him that. She almost told him that she hesitated. Um, That she was... She, basically, she, she let Mac die. Yeah. She almost told him. And I said, if you tell him that, your home bus is going to jail. Yeah. You and that girl are going to be <laughs> sharing a freaking hot pocket and a pack say, of oodles and Say oodles. both of y'all need to use that legal fund at the church. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Sophie was in the bathroom tearing up the Bible Just and gone. flushing the freaking pages and going off yep. and told her mama I just want God to let me go I Say, want wow. him to leave me alone he's not good he's not real I just want to go back to the way I used to be I said my god man man they hitting heavy with the Sophia thing man I yeah. ain't ready for it but it's real though man it's too we don't, real we don't want to deal with it though we we want to we want to you know slide prayer over it slide fashion over it yeah, you know over. matter of fact come to the altar that us grease you down you yeah. know what you ain't saved like you like you say you is wipe your eyebrows off it's real man it's it's when stuff like I told y'all you don't know how much faith you really got until area in your life get touched that really means a lot to you yep so, Gigi is looking at her daughter like, 
I don't know what to do with this. I mean, mm -hmm. who does know what to do with this? Yeah. Because in all areas of life, you can relate to it. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't want to tell that baby, I understand what you're going through and I've been where you've been, you don't want to tell her that in that moment. What do yeah. you do? Now, I say Gigi can relate to it because she, can. she yeah, she can, but took she her 20 years. took her 20 years to come back. So you got to let, so pretty much she got to let, let Sophia go through her process. Yeah. Yeah. Because at this point, you can't tell her nothing. But she gonna have to leave that church to get away from the little saint stuff. That's the only thing I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> they gonna come to the house. They gonna come to the house with yep. with uh, fruit and uh, edible uh, arrangement. Yep, They're all that kind of stuff. They gonna bring the kids to, so, to, to make the manipulation even stronger. Be like, yep. Sophia, we've missed you. Yeah, they gonna sing a song. But she need to go over there, over there with Jacobs over at Trump. That's the only way she can get away from the little saints. Oh, they be over there too on the front row. <laughs> They be sitting right there, right up service. <laughs> no, what she gonna need to do, she gonna have to go to one of them old fashioned churches where don't nobody know her at. Yep, and sit all the way in the and back. Sit all the way in the, and then when they, once they get a, a little whiff of who you are, you gotta leave. Go ahead and go. Or go one of the mega churches. Just slide in the back. Yeah. Go to the 8 o'clock service. Or like some people do, they slide out soon. The pastor say every eye closed, every heart open, every eye closed. And they gonna <laughs> slide on out the back door. <laughs> That's why, that why church had to be like, nobody can move. Some church won't let you go nowhere on altar call. The ushers got the door shut tight. You ain't going nowhere. Cause speaking people, of. Because people will slide on out the back, man. Speaking of, you remember that time we was in D.C.? And we was at the church of the hood. And they locked us up in there and chained yep. us in there. Like, yep. doing, seriously. Doing offering time. Chained us in there. Yep, doing offering time. Yep. They was like, because the cause the drug dealers come through yep. and rob the church. And I'm sitting doing there Doing like, offering. And then one time we was over there at, um... Bankhead, yeah, over in Atlanta. I said, if y'all don't get me the hell out of Ti's hood, we put it this way: we was at one, one, one church. Uh, uh, I think it was, it was in Maryland, right? It's in Maryland. I don't know what you get ready to say. Well, well, somebody came and stole one of the people who would have <laughs> stole a whole car. Temple Hills, Maryland. Temple Hills, Maryland. Yep, came and stole a car. Right while we was in service, but we heard it. Yeah. We heard some go, and pretty much when pretty much when she called the cops, they put them on. Was like, ma'am, and your car gone. And your car gone. Ain't too much. And come to find out, they don't care nothing about your car getting stolen. That's just like so, just another day. Mm -hmm. And yeah. they would answer her telephone. We would call it a yeah, they would answer telephone. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I said, God, no, that is a hood stuff. And then, like a year after that, the, the, it's not funny because I'm not laughing because. And the way my sense of humor is set up, sometimes it get me in trouble. The mother of the church got shot inside the church. Inside the church, man. At the same church. Our bishop told us, said, we're not going back there. No. He said, we can't go I, back there. At, yeah, I never went back there after that. No, we did. We went back one more time. And did we, we? And remember, Bishop made all of us ride the charter bus? Because he said, can't none of y'all drive your vehicles up But back? you know what? It took about five years for it us did. to get to that point. Yeah. yeah. But you know what the part that really, that really pissed me off was? We had to ride the chalk bus. <laughs> no, that when the car got stolen, they didn't offer to help her not, mm. not nail bit. And cause they, cause they knew that it's the, it done happened there before. And that's what they said. They said, oh, if I knew you had parked right there, we would have told you not to park. Because they had a park in the back where yeah. they would lock your vehicles up too. Yep. And so we you, didn't know. I mean, we so you, there. So you, everything else you get on the loud speakers and make an announcement. You could have made that announcement. Your car is parked across the street. We're going to need you to move it to the back. And better than about it, everybody else's cars was parked where it was like threes. Yeah. And you can't get, you know, you couldn't get to all the cars. Hers happened to be on that end. Yep. And they took that she car. right on in there and got the car. <laughs> but she, God is good, though, because she went from a Chrysler to a BMW right after that. Yeah, she did. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. Holla.